hi y'all welcome to my channel it's been a while since i last did a video uh today i wanted to give you a tour of my cooler weather perfume collection i got into perfumes pretty recently in the last month or so i've been super into perfumes i've been buying them like crazy and hopefully some of you get some entertainment out of looking at my whole entire perfume collection. This is where I store all my fragrances. It's kind of weird. I store it in my closet. But the reason why I store it in my closet is because you don't want to have your fragrances in direct sunlight. Um, I read somewhere that that kind of ruins the fragrance. So yeah, I keep it in my closet. <laughs> all of my perfumes since they were bought in the last couple months... They do cater more to cooler weather and I have four big bottle perfumes and then I keep my travel size perfumes in this little Kaoli uh, packaging. The first perfume I have here is Kaoli Vanilla 28. This scent is an easy going, easy reach vanilla. It's not too complex. And I like to wear this more for everyday wear when you don't like want to have a perfume that's challenging but you still want to smell really good, really sweet, girly. Like when I grab this perfume, that's the type of vibe I'm going for. This is this is her right here, Kaoli Vanilla 28. My next perfume I have here is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This is my date night perfume it's kind of spicy kind of floral very sweet has a vanilla bourbon vanilla dry down um it smells really good it's, i don't would i repurchase this i don't know i'm still enjoying my bottle ask me again in like six months if i would repurchase this but it's good for cooler weather i think because it is quite spicy I don't think I would wear this year round. Maybe um, on the cooler nights in the summer I'd pick this up, but this really screams, in my mind, it screams cooler weather. So I'm enjoying that right now. Sorry. <laughs> Next, we have Gris Charnel. This is a niche fragrance house by BDK Parfum. Oh my gosh, it's so unique smelling. This is a tea fragrance also really good for cool weather i don't think i'd wear this in warmer weather um but it's when you want to feel cozy so i wear this like around the house if i'm netflix and chilling if i'm watching tv this is also good for like running errands if you just want to smell like a hug oh my gosh this is one of those fragrances that my mouth waters when i smell it would i repurchase this Right now, I'm really enjoying it, so I would say yes right now. Is this good for spring and summer? I would say no. I would, I'm would. i only like wearing this when the weather is cooler outside. Um, that's when I pick this up. So this is definitely, in my collection at least, this is definitely more of a seasonal scent. This one is Lunfaline Extract. This is a vanilla cardamom scent. The cardamom in this is actually really strong. So if you don't like the scent of cardamom, you're not going to like this. But to me, it smells like winter in a bottle. It smells like a warm hug. Like, I want this when it's super cold outside, like 40 and below, 45 and below. I'll grab this. There are some fall days where this will not work. Like, I cannot wear this in 50 and above. I think it would be too, it would choke you out too much. Um, so yeah, this is only freezing cold weather, whereas BDK is more like fall weather. And then I have a couple of travel sizes I picked up. I have two by Commodity. I have Commodity Milk. This scent smells like marshmallows in the opening. It reminds me of going camping, roasting marshmallows without the campfire scent, just the pure marshmallow scent. It smells really good on me in the opening. And the dry down, it's a little bit too masculine leaning for my taste. So would I repurchase this? I don't think so, but I enjoy it and I wear it to bed nowadays. I wear it to bed or just hanging around the house. Oh, if I don't want to think too much about the fragrance I'm putting on, I'll wear this. But once I use this up, I don't think I'd repurchase. Commodity Gold is more vanillic. I don't know all the notes. I'll put the notes on the screen. But to me, it smells very vanillic. I do have a lot of other vanillas in my collection. I didn't realize this would be 
a vanilla perfume. I probably should have researched it a little more. I love it, but it's just, to me, it's just a basic vanilla. There's nothing special about it. It's more feminine leaning in my mind than commodity milk. But yeah, I don't think I'd repurchase this. YSL Lieb Le Perfume. I really like this scent. I wore it to the office because I wanted to make this like my office scent. I think I made someone sneeze. <laughs> And so now I'm kind of triggered. I don't, I don't want to wear it to the office because I'm thinking it might be a little bit too much. I think this I'd wear more on my non-working days where I just want to smell good and I'm outside and I know it projects. I love the scent of this. It's like vanilla and lavender. It's very, it, it also smells like a warm hug. It's very fall autumnal. I love the scent of this. Would I get a full bottle of it? TBD because like for me this this little package is fine. I do like it. I like it more than commodity milk and commodity gold. I don't know if it's full bottle appropriate for my collection just yet. I'm still deciding. I'm still playing around with it and I'm still, you know, enjoying what I have. Kayali Love Fest Burning Cherry. This one is really, really delicious. Every time I spray it, my mouth waters. I love the opening. I love the cherry note in the opening. My problem with this scent is the cherry note goes away so fast. And you're left with the dry down, which is vanilla. And I mean, it's it's nice, but I wish the cherry stayed around even in the dry down. I like wearing it. It's, an, it's not the most long-lasting scent, but I enjoy it for fall. I don't know if I would repurchase this. I have my eye on the Tom Ford cherry scent. And I think once this one runs out, I'm going to try out Travel Size of Tom Ford and see how that compares to Love Fest Burning Cherry. Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Killian Love Don't Be Shy is... This is, without a doubt, the sweetest fragrance that I own currently. It's so sweet. I would wear this when the weather is very cold outside because I think on warmer weather, it would project way too much. I like the scent. It's so different from anything else I own because it's so gourmand and I don't really have a lot of gourmand fragrances. When I first sprayed it, the memory that came to me was when you're sitting in the dentist's office and you're getting your teeth cleaned and then the dentist asks you, oh, what flavor of cleaning, I don't know what it's called, but what flavor toothpaste do you want me to use? And then you're like, oh, I want the, like, the bubble gum or like that flavored cleaning thing the dentist puts in your mouth and cleans your teeth with that's what this smell reminds me of i don't know that's where my brain goes and i don't know anyone else that has made that connection in like the fragrance world that's the last travel size i have killian love don't be shy i think it's going to take me a while to get through this because this scent in my mind is only for special occasions it's not quite for everyday wear so it's going to take me a while to get through this. Would I buy a full-size bottle? I really like the Killian Love Don't Be Shy full-size bottle. I like the aesthetic of it. And I am one of those people that I won't buy a bottle if I love the fragrance, but I don't like the packaging. Like, I need the packaging to look good because I'm a very visual person. But I'm not, like, running out to the stores to get a full-size because this, this little guy is going to probably take me all the way through the end of winter. Uh, some testers I'm testing out right now. I got this. This is the Killian Angel Share. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like an apple pie. Like a sweet apple pie. Ugh, it makes my mouth water, but I don't know if I really want to smell like a fruit. And that's what I'm kind of learning. I don't really think I like smelling like fruits. Citrus is a different story. Cherries is a different story, but like apples, like I think if someone else was wearing it, I'd be blown away, but I don't know if I want to smell like an apple pie. I also have Rouge Smoking by BDK Parfum. Oh, I love this one so much. Honestly, I might get a full bottle of this. This is a unisex scent, and I like feminine leading perfumes but this one is so unique like I haven't smelled anything else like this yeah this one maybe maybe I'll buy a full bottle but I'm also thinking of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry as my cherry scent I know I don't really want two cherry scents so I'm I'm battling with that in my mind I've been really into cherry lately <laughs> I tried out Sniff it wasn't really for me 
it was just a plain cherry scent. Not a lot of dimension to it. I don't know, it wasn't like my favorite cherry scent. And the packaging was a little cheap looking. I think if the packaging was nicer, I would have kept it. And so it's not a bad fragrance. I wouldn't say anything like polarizing about the scent. It was just very... Not much going. It was just straight up cherry. I was wondering if like I mix Sniff Tart Deco with Kaoli Vanilla 28, like if that would make some magic. And then I have a couple of Byredos that I'm trying out right now. These two I think are more spring summer scent. Like Bala Freak is kind of a really hot weather summer scent. So I haven't really been spraying it. Pulp is a really nice fruit scent. I just I know I just said I don't really like fruit scents, but this one is so different from the other fruit scents I've been trying out. But I think it is more of a spring scent, so I'm gonna come back to it in the spring, but I do have samples. Mojave Ghost, I think is a very great, unique office scent that I could wear. So I'm trying it out right now in the office. It hasn't made anyone sneeze yet, thank God. And I did get one compliment when I was wearing it, which I never get compliments on my fragrance. So that, like, it's amazing how much one compliment can influence you into buying a fragrance. I went to Diptyque. I bought their candle, and this one smells like fall in a candle. It's like spiced citrus with cloves in it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I bought this maybe a week ago and I'm almost out. So this kind of goes to show you how much I've been burning it. I think I'm gonna get a bigger one of this. This smells so good. And this is the whole setup. So, Valentino, Kaoli. I use this as my jewelry dish as well. So I have some jewelry. And then we have our Mojave Ghost, Valley Freak, Pulp, all these Byredo samples. And then we have our Grisha now. And then we have our Lune Feline in the back. This is my little perfume collection. I hope you enjoyed. I might make a follow-up video a couple weeks later after Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And I might be getting a couple more fragrances depending on how good the sales are. If I do end up picking up some fragrances, I will go ahead and film an updated video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!